I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on measurements and conversion of units. The question is, on average human body has 5.0 liters of blood. The average number of white blood cells, leukocytes, in human blood is normally between 5000 to 10,000 cells per cubic millimeter. Estimate the range of white blood cells in human body and part B is estimate order of magnitude of white blood cells. So let's see how to solve such questions. Now we have different kinds of units here. First we are talking about human body has 5.0 liters of blood. So purposely I have put 5.0 zero giving you two significant places right so that gives us two significant places now the units are liters then we are saying average number of white blood cells in human body is between 5000 to 10000 cells per cubic millimeter so let's take 5,000 cells per cubic millimeter. See, the units are very different, cubic millimeter. So that is what is given to us. Now we need to estimate white blood cells in the human body. That means kind of product of these two, but we have to match the units. And we'll also see how to write it with the correct significant places right now what are the conversion factors known to you what is one meter cube equals to one liter is 1000 cc one meter cube is 1000 liters this is one conversion which is known to us and we also know that one meter is equal to 1000 millimeter now that could help us to convert the units so first part of this question is to write in uh, consistent units right so let's convert the volume into meter cube and also number of cells into cells per meter cube so that is the first step so volume is given to us as 5.0 liters. Now we know that 1000 liters is 1 meter cube. So what I can do here is I can write this as 1 meter cube over 1000 liters. Now once we do that you can see clearly that liters and liters cancel. Correct. So we get meter cube volume right so which is let's say we'll write now we'll forget about decimals now but we'll write our answer to significant places later so we have five concentrate on this part so thousand is in the denominator so it could be written as 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube I hope this step is absolutely clear, right? So we have converted volume in meter cube. So that's the first part. Now the second part here is to convert number of cells per meter cube. Then we are going to multiply these two to get the total number of cells. So now let's look into this. 5,000 cells per millimeter cube. So we are saying 5,000 cells per millimeter cube. Now we have to convert that to meters and what we know is 1 meter is 1000 millimeter, correct? So since I have to cancel millimeter, I will write 1000 millimeter here which is 10 to the power of 3 millimeter, correct? And 1 meter. These are same things. Now since I have to cancel millimeter from the denominator, I am writing in the numerator and actually I want to cancel millimeter cube, so I'll cube it. Does it make sense to you? Look at it very carefully, right? Now that clearly means I could write this as 5000 cells 
per millimeter cube. If you open this bracket, 10 to the power of 3 times 3 was 9, right? So get 10 to the power of 9 millimeter cube over meter cube. Perfect. Now, see, the units are converted to meter cube. Perfect. So what do we get here? 3 more zeros to 9 makes it 12. So we write 5 into 10 to the power of 12 cells per meter cube. So we have converted cells per meter cube and liters also to meter cube. So we have consistent units. Now let's do part 1 which is estimate range of white blood cells. So, so we are not talking about so normally it is 5,000 to 10,000. So we are working with the lower margin first, 5,000. This is twice 5,000. So let's work with 5,000 and find out number of white blood cells in the human body. So the number of cells, let me say number of cells will be equal to product of these two, right? So, so that is our equation one. This is equation two. And if you multiply these two, we get our answer, right? So that is to say number of cells per meter cube, which is 5 times 10 to the power of 12 cells per meter cube times 5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube. So now when you do that, you can see that meter cube and meter cube cancel. Correct? And what do you get? You get 5 times 5 as 25. 10 to the power of 12 times 10 to the power of minus 3 gives you 10 to the power of 12 minus 3 which is 9. So this is the lower limit. This is for 5000. Correct? So this is our lower limit of range. Higher limit is twice, 10,000 is two times. Now, if you have to write this to significant places, let's get back to this part, which is two significant places. Now, that is very important in physics, considering significant places. We could write this as 2.5 into 10 to the power of 10. Do you see that? Number of cells in the body, right, in the body. Correct? So that is the lower limit. Now what is the higher limit? Higher limit will be twice this, right? So it is, it is 5 into 10 to the power of 10. Since number of cells could be between 5,000 to 10,000, which is twice. So 2 times 2.5 is 5. You could write 5.0 if you are writing in significant places. So that becomes the range, correct? So that is the first part. Let's call this as A. And now B is estimate. So let me clearly write down the range for cells is between 2.5 into 10 to the power of 10 to 5.0 into 10 to the power of 10, right? As far as B is concerned, we have to make an estimate. So that means we could approximate this to, so we are approximating 5 times 10 to the power of 10 as 10 to the power of 11. So that is the estimate, right? So that those many cells per body. So we have written the upper limit. So I hope uh, this makes sense to you. So let me recall what we really did here was we matched the units. So we got everything into meters and meter cube, right? And then we multiplied the amount of blood by the, the density of cells to get the total number of cells in the body. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.